first started in 2013, we actually had a record number of nests at 200 and this year we've doubled that so we're over 400 so it's pretty incredible just to see that much change in the course of five seasons. So not only are we seeing record number of nests collected this year and hatchlings hatching from those nests, we're also seeing an expansion of habitat um, along the Thames River. This year, uh, by far, 25-30% higher numbers than we've ever had in any previous years. Uh, and we believe uh, from the work that we've been doing up to this point over the past couple decades. What we uh, are looking at, somewhere between five and 7,000 hatchlings, probably around 6,500 or so, uh, will be released. So once we collect the turtle eggs from the wild, uh, from our nesting sites, uh, we bring them inside to incubate. So we have nine different incubators set up here, uh, most of which are dedicated to the eastern spiny softshell turtle. Uh, they are uh, genetically uh, sex determined, so that means uh, when we incubate them, it doesn't really matter uh, if the temperature is a little bit higher or a little bit lower, uh, and it'll produce sort of an even number of males and females. Uh, we incubate them at 82 degrees, uh, because that's what is most realistic as to what they'd be incubating in the wild. In incredible turtle team you know we've been able to have uh, our staff and volunteers you know, again make the most successful season we've ever had uh, you know this is a um, I guess a good gauge of our success and obviously I, I'm very uh, happy to have uh, been able to get to this point with this project and with the recovery of the softshell turtle